with the Gambler 500 complete and the Wibblebeal out of the garage. Now I'm going to get back to some other projects. So this video is going to be a progress update and to-do list for the future. First thing we got to do is clean this place. We were in such a rush to get the car done for the Gambler 500. We were just throwing tools everywhere, leaving stuff out. So I'm going to go through and clean this place up real quick. The next issue is it's almost summertime. Uh, this video here was actually back in April when we got our last big snow. But as you can see, my driveway has become a parking lot for broken European vehicles. So now that I need to get these doors open and get the toys out and get things in to work on them, I gotta make some room. So, the first thing to go is gonna be the Saab 9000 Aero. Between the projects I've got going on and the stuff that Mikey's got going on, we have never had a chance to look at this car yet or tear into this transmission. So for the meantime, we're gonna place this on the back burner and Mikey's taking it back to his place, which is all right because pretty soon he's gonna have a pole barn with a lift and he's working on that right now. And with a sob out of the way, I was able to pull out the Mustang for the first time in about eight months. The Civic remains neglected for the time being, but eventually I'm gonna get around to that. I got the Yoda in the garage and caught him on some maintenance on that, so I'm going to have some new videos about that coming up here soon. Back in December, I got this 81 Mercedes 380 SEL for 330 bucks. It's been sitting in my driveway, haven't even had a chance to look at it yet. So hopefully one day, I'll get around to that. But first, I need to do something about this 7 Series. It's uh, been sitting outside, the bees are building nests in it. It's filling up with water on the inside floor from all the leaks because I've taken out some of the weather stripping and it's about time to scrap it. I pulled it in the garage this week, took out all the glass, all the window regulators, the sunroof, and anything else inside of value that I could see being worth anything. And now I'm wondering, what should we do before we send it off to the scrapyard? In case you haven't seen my other videos, this was a $400 eBay purchase and the car has a salvage title. So it didn't run, I'm parting it out. Along with the interior, we've got the engine and trans out, the drive shaft is out, pretty much anything of value in the bay has been pulled, as well as the trunk. I am going to make sure I grab these headlights and front bumper, along with the rear diff before we take it in for scrap. And before we do that, I think we're going to have another Weirmobile night where we get a case of beer, two Sawzalls, and turn this thing into a ute. That's right, the first 7 Series BMW two-door pickup truck will soon be created here at the 6th Gear Garage. <laughs> 